Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a new vulnerability affecting open SSH clients. Actually, a number of organizations released details about two different vulnerabilities affecting open SSH. The big one is one that affects the open SSH client and has to do with an undocumented feature called roaming, which apparently was put in open SSH way back in 2010. Now, these vulnerabilities affect open SSH 5.4 all the way through 7.1. At a high level, it's an information leak vulnerability, but a pretty big one. If a vulnerable open SSH client connects to a malicious server, the server can leverage this flaw to actually steal that client's private encryption keys, which is a pretty big deal. Now, unfortunately, roaming is enabled by default on most open SSH clients. However, one way to actually mitigate this flaw is to disable the roaming feature, which you can do. But the best way to fix this is to patch as soon as one becomes available for your distro. The other vulnerability is a buffer overflow flaw, which could be bad, but there's a number of non-default features which are involved in that one, so it really is kind of a lower severity. The takeaway here is you need to update OpenSSH if you use it. Uh, if you use a Linux machines, you probably are using OpenSSH servers somewhere, and if you use any sort of networking gear, it probably uses OpenSSH as well. Now the good news is a lot of uh, network applications use the OpenSSH server and may not have their own client. So this big vulnerability only affects the OpenSSH client. Nonetheless, it's probably a good idea to patch all your versions of OpenSSH as soon as you can. Now, WatchGuard customers might realize that we also use OpenSSH somewhat in our product. In fact, we use the server in our uh, network security appliance. But since it is the server, it's not really affected by this flaw. We don't actually give customers an OpenSSH client. Now, support does have a debug package that they can load on Firebox, which does have the OpenSSH client. But that's something only support uses. Now, in the future, we'll certainly update our OpenSSH package package to just totally take care of this vulnerability, even though we're not really exposing it in any way that attackers can use today. Anyways, long story short, if you use OpenSSH, you want to get the updates as soon as you can. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.